Good afternoon and welcome to Nora's Dog Training Company. We're here this afternoon with Bella and Brandy and what we're going to be demonstrating for you today on video is your very smart puppy's ability to understand and respond to her formal on-leash obedience commands. The motivation and the little corrections that we give the puppies when we're working with them and the training equipment that we're using. Brandy is using a regular six-foot web training leash and she keeps the bulk of that leash folded neatly in her right hand. That leaves her left hand free to give any correction that's needed, and the only correction that we give is a gentle tug and release on the training collar. And that is the second piece of equipment that we're using. Rich will be introducing that training equipment to you on Monday and teaching you how to use it properly during your follow-up training session. Now Bella is sitting beautifully at Brandy's left, which is where all of our obedience training is done. And the first exercise that we're going to demonstrate for you is healing. Healing is a hard exercise to practice in the house, but it can be done. And because we have 17 inches of snow on the ground, that's where it's getting done today. And the command is Bella heal. Heal. Now at this point, Bella has a job to do, and that is to stay even with your left leg when you're walking, and this means whether it's on the street or in the house. And each time that you stop walking, Bella has been taught to sit automatically without being told to wait for her next command. So you hear Brandy talking to her and encouraging her as they're walking, telling her she's a good girl and good job and you see her tail up and wagging and she's enjoying performing her new skills she's looking up at brandy if brandy changes direction she does the same and she's staying right next to her and when brandy stops she should sit if she doesn't sit brandy said no sit and then praised her for a good job and the next command that we're going to demonstrate is the sit stay the stay is a hand and a voice command and because it is a stationary exercise we do not use her name stay the long sit stay when you're practicing at home and this is be probably better practiced indoors is for one minute working up to three minutes this exercise helps to develop her self-control and her focus. You see how focused she is on Brandy right now and that's what you want when you get her home. When Brandy returns back to her she walks counterclockwise all the way around back to her shoulders and at this point she expects to get another command and they take off healing again. And these are almost like little figure eight exercises that Brandy's doing to improve her healing skills and her ability to focus and pay attention when walking. Brandy leaves her, actually stands behind her, and Bella holds it and still keeps her focus. And this time, instead of returning back to her, Brandy's going to call her. This is the recall or the come on command. And she comes right in front and sits. So this is going to help a lot with your jumping that we're teaching her that when you come to us to get that praise that you want, you have to come and sit. Stay. Brandy leaves her in a sit stay. And she's going to demonstrate that come on command again for you. Bella she uses her name. She uses a lightened tone of voice. She praises her for a good job because coming to you should always be a good thing. Now the next commands that we're going to be demonstrating for you are a series of down commands. So always have your dog seated before you attempt to put them into a down. The first exercise is the down from a heel position. So with the dog seated at your left, left open palm straight down toward the ground and the stay. one word command to down and stay. stay your long down stay when you're practicing at home is going to be for three to five minutes and you're going to work that up over time and this is again another self-control exercise that you can practice while you're eating dinner or watching tv and this when you practice your exercises indoors it helps the dogs to develop indoor house skills if you only practice outdoors, you only get good behavior outdoors. So you want to practice indoors as well, and the leash will become your best friend. She's a very, very smart girl. I'm very willing. She wants to do a good job. This time Brandy's going to call her out of that downstay. 
Good job. Good girl. She comes in and sits right in front of Brandy. And then the very last command that we're going to demonstrate for you is you're down from a distance. So with her seated, Brandy leaves her on a stay. She turns to face her. This is the only time that we use our right hand to give the command and you drop her into a down from a distance. We think that Bella has done an incredibly good job here at school. <laughs> We've enjoyed her and her sister. They're lovely little ladies. We've had a lot of fun with them. They both love the snow and ran and played. We will see you on Monday, and we want to thank you for choosing Nora's Dog Training Company.